Um, I love this picture of Brooklyn Bridge, and Roger Fry also liked it very much. Coburn showed him a photograph of it, and Fry uh, expressed his enormous interest in it. Fry had, in fact, been to New York many times. He acted as curator at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in the 1900s, and so he knew New York quite well. But I love the picture because it expresses the kind of vitality and energy and the newness of the kinds of structures which are being put up in New York, something that fascinated Coburn and also Weber. And um, the picture when Fry saw it was still in New York in Weber's collection. But after Coburn worked very hard to introduce Weber to the British public, not only by organizing for him to be included in Fry's exhibition, but also by showing Weber pictures to people who came to his photographic studio in Hammersmith, Weber, in gratitude, sent him this picture in 1914. And the picture, in fact, has two dates, Max Weber, 1912, and then a monogram, which is an inscription to Coburn from Weber with the date of March or February 1913. So uh, a very exciting picture to have in the collection at Reading, and also a picture, I think, which expresses how important uh, New York was to this story about Weber, Coburn, and their um, exchanges with uh, British artists and critics and writers in this period um, around 1913. And Coburn certainly, uh, I think, uh, influenced Weber in this respect, and that Weber uh, started to make pictures of these New York skyscrapers. Um, after meeting Coburn, they in fact spent a very memorable day in October 1912 at the top of one of these buildings. Coburn was photographing and Weber would have been making sketches, I suspect, not large paintings. However, he did make very large paintings of the New York skyline. So two pictures which uh, express the importance of this American um, input into British modernism at this point, and also two very exciting images.